All right, just wanted to show you a clip from a sermon preached by an evangelist named Paul uh, Swank, I think is what his name is. And he basically is reproving Stephen Anderson and you know, reproving his errors and heresies, for example, regarding Israel and the rapture and all this other stuff. And he points out the fact that Anderson is essentially an internet pastor. You see, Stephen Anderson would have been nowhere without the internet. His claim to fame was getting, getting beaten up by those border patrol guards uh, over in uh, at the border, basically. And without the internet, nobody would know about Stephen Anderson. See, the Bible did not create Stephen Anderson, the internet did. And uh, Anderson's followers follow him as an internet pastor. And you say, well, what are you doing on the internet? Well, you see, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a, a minister or anything. I just make videos on the internet. But I actually have a job. I work. I, I do my own thing. Uh, Anderson is, again, not created by the Bible, not created by Jesus Christ. He was created by the internet. In terms of his popularity and sensation, basically, he is he's now the new Westboro Baptist Church. He's the new, you know, Fred Phelps, basically. And evangelist Paul Swig, you know, uh, calls him out during his uh, conference he held back in 2018. So here's the clip from the sermon. I'll, I'll, I'll probably post the full the full sermon in the description, the link in the description. But here's the clip, uh, part of the sermon where he reproves Stephen Anderson's errors and heresies. So, and, and this just goes to show that many of the so-called old IFB, which I'm not even Baptist, but many of the so-called old IFB reject Anderson's heresies. And a lot of times we even kick you out of their church if they find out you're supporting Stephen Anderson. So here's the clip. Uh, watch this. And just, can I stop? Because I checked this morning. I double checked. I was pretty sure, but I double checked anyhow. And all of the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, and all of the Bible, there are no internet pastors. <laughs> no. Nope. I wasn't quite sure, but I double checked. I don't know how old Al Gore is, so I double checked. And there are no internet pastors. No, nope, no, nope, that would be a big fat zero. There's no internet pastor, you know, from New York. There's no internet pastors from Ohio. There's no internet pastors from Washington. And there are no internet pastors from Arizona. Zero. Come on. No, zero. Because you see, what the whole thing about the local churches, or one of many things, is that you fellowship together, you work together, you deal together, you deal with problems together, and you realize I have brothers and I have sisters and we're all human, and we're trying to do this thing together, and we got a pastor that we love, and my pastor may not be perfect, but he's the man that God has placed as an authority in my life. And when you start comparing yourself, your pastor, to some internet pastor you know like maybe some guy in texas or new hampshire or arizona you know if you ever study false religions in america almost all the big time and there's a lot of little ones that you know mickey mouse ones but false religions in america do you know it's really stunning there's kind of Two things that really kind of start them down the wrong path. You know what those two things would be? First, most of them start with uh, setting the date of Jesus' return. That just seems to be a real fast way to start a false religion. I don't know why. Do you know the second one? A confounded view as to who Israel is. Yeah. So many false religions come from people who spiritualize Israel. Come on. You say, well, when the Bible talks about Israel, what's the Lord talking about? Israel. Israel. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. So when the internet pastors say from North Dakota, or why not, Costa Rica, or Arizona wants to be your pastor, you better go to the Word of God and say, I'm supposed to have a pastor in 1 Timothy that meets qualifications. I'm supposed to have a pastor according to Titus that meets qualifications. I'm supposed to have a pastor that I have a personal knowledge of and I know his testimony and I know that God has put him in my life and I know, I know the internet is amazing. But you just can't reach your fingers through the World Wide Web 
and know that man. So that's why in all the Bible, and I double-checked it, there are no internet pastors. Yeah, I agree with a lot of what he said in that video. There are no internet pastors in the entire, in the scriptures. Uh, Anderson, by the way, doesn't even meet the qualifications for a bishop in for, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 to 7, and Titus chapter 1, verse 5 to 8. Uh, he is unruly. He loves to yell and scream in his videos. I mean, I showed that in other videos exposing Anderson. So yeah, just going to show that many of the so-called old IFB don't accept Anderson's heresies, and many of them reject this new IFB. Anderson starts uh, as being one of them. And again, like I said, many of the of the old IFB Baptist churches, if they find out you're involved with Stephen Anderson, they'll kick you out of the church and ask you to leave because Anderson's followers uh, mimic Anderson's uh, unscriptural, unbiblical, wicked behavior. And they come in and try to bring heresies and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I wanted to point that out. I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, I probably would disagree with this evangelist on some stuff because uh, he's very bit much into the whole church building thing. But he's right. He's spot on when it comes to Stephen Anderson. So, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.